To the news in detail now, the Gambian leader Adam Abaro was among world leaders and diplomats who attended the opening ceremony of the 79th ordinary session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on Tuesday. The president arrived in New York on Monday. Alpha Karaga witnessed the opening ceremony and he prepared this report. And this was read here by Momodu Justice Dabo. The world leaders were united in their call for a world order that would promote equality and eliminate prejudices against the less privileged and the vulnerable. After the UN was formed 79 years ago, the world has evolved in myriad ways as this period saw many countries emerge from colonial bondage. This period also saw the world grapple with disease outbreaks, pandemics, civil disobedience, violent change of governments and geopolitical conundrums. But the Gambia's permanent representative to the United Nations, His Excellency Lamin Diba, said this year's United Nations General Assembly is a special session looking into the future. Uh, this year's uh, United Nations General Assembly 79th session is a special session um, for the fact that uh, we are preparing into the future. That is why the UN year is preceded by summit of the future that looks into how do we maneuver from the SDG goals to the next generation and what would be the role of uh, all citizens of the world including young people and women uh, so this is what makes it a very special what is in this united nations general assembly for the gambia ambassador diba again but as for the gambia we are well prepared the we have uh, the delegation is already here and we are already preparing to receive His Excellency the President who will be uh, participating in the general debate uh, on the 26th to deliver his statement at the UN General Assembly and uh, his statement will reflect the realities that we are faced with globally but also domestically he will talk about issues that affects the lives and the livelihood of, uh, the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Demba Sabali, is also in New York and he spoke to Star TV about the Gambia's expectations. The expectations are, His Excellency is not only the President of the Republic of the Gambia, but also he's the Chairman of the OIC, which is a 56 member country. So today, the OIC countries have different challenges. We have the issue of Palestine, we have the issue of so many uh, countries. So His Excellency is going to globally address these issues you know so he's going to focus on gambia as his of course that's his priority but also he's going to address issues that are affecting the the entire muslim countries it's, it's issues palestine. especially issues happening around palestine issues happening around myanmar so most of the countries that uh, where um, issues are there affecting the the muslim population his excellency may mention those ones and and, and palestine is no exception so yes his address is going to be very very general he's going to talk about gambia He's going to address issues affecting OIC countries, definitely. Meanwhile, the government leader had a bilateral meeting with the president of Mauritius, His Excellency Prince Via Singh Rupen, on Tuesday. They discussed issues of mutual interest to their nations and how to deepen cooperation. Reporting for Star TV News, this is Mamadou Dabo.